What's up, Adagus? So, before this video begins, I just want to say one thing. Uh, around 97 of you, 97% uh, of y'all are not subscribed. Please subscribe, because I do have a sub goal of 500, and after the 500, it's a thousand. And we probably all know why I want to reach a thousand. It's mostly to get my parents off my back. Also, if you subscribe, hit the notification button. Maybe like this video, I don't know. And I do have a Discord now, a link in the description below. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Tucker himself. My name is Sora the Tucker, and sorry for my echoing because I'm literally sitting in an echo box. So, some of you guys have been asking me for a deck review or a deck showcase throughout the Duel the Front series, and maybe also the decks I would use in Attack of the Kaijus. So here they are. We're gonna go over every single one throughout a couple of episodes and they will hopefully come out week by week by week or bi-weekly if it's any if yeah yeah if just weekly doesn't work. Hmm. So, let's get through this. So, if you didn't remember, my character were everywhere with his deck back in the days. But in the beginning, let's just show how the deck actually kinda looked before certain cards got introduced. If I remember correctly, this one was not in there, and this wasn't in there yet. And this one was a gift, so... Yeah, essentially this was the original version of the deck. Yes, kinda sh... Actually, wait... Return... My character didn't have return back then. But yeah, if I remember right, there was this was pretty much the deck original Sora had. Evo Carnival, because tokens are instant tokens, even though this deck was very, and I mean very heavily rely relying on the extra deck, this was still one of the go-to cards I used when I earlier on. Due to instant tokens are always good to have for protection. Except not against a Chaos Max Dragon. Never use these against Chaos Max. If you literally don't have a card that says no any damage I would take from this battle your opponent takes, because that's an instant win. I think it's... I think that's bye-bye damage. Let's look. Hmm. During damage calculation, if your monster is attacked, your battling monster cannot be destroyed by the battle. Also, if you would take battle damage from that battle your opponent take damage equal to the double amount so imagine 
one of these tokens going up against Chaos, Chaos Max Dragon. Or, yeah, Blue Eyes Chaos Max. And then you just have Bye Bye Damage in the back row. That's an instant KO on for you. You will, no, for your opponent, because they will be instantly KO'd by their own attack. Chaos, Chaos Max, uh, Max's uh, ability it allows uh, when it attacks a defense position monster, the battle damage, it does p double piercing, aka the normal amount of the, peer, uh, the attack, which goes through, is doubled. 4000 times 2 equals 800 and then by by damage doubling that would be 16000 that's a lot yeah but yeah as you could probably say you see in this version this was a very yuya heavy inspired deck and there was a meme around that I was the Yuya of the series, but yeah, as I said, Hippo Carnival for instant tokens. The same with the uh, Super Hippo Carnival. I think I just used it twice before I got version 2. No, version 2 I didn't get until Nindrago. Eh. Dark hole for that instant destruction, especially if I would have tokens left and I had a play in my hand. Because these tokens cannot be. Let's see. Yeah, they cannot be tributed, so a dark hole which destroys both fields, at least monster wise, is really good at this part. If your field is just filled with to uh, hippo tokens, you have a move in your hand that allows you to go into any of these boys. Back then, this was my trump card. Secondarily, it was the string gene. I think I got out uh, Mister FM more than. Dark Rebellion. If I'm wrong on that, tell me in the description. Or tell me in the comments. I'm not going back to watching the first few episodes of uh, DDF. Heck, I think even my last shit is cringy. The only series I don't find cringy, at least editing wise and voice wise, is the series I actually put my energy into. I wish Buddy Fight was back. Uh, but also, this will also serve as an update thing, these videos. Um. Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon, because Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon, I recently watched Arc V back then, or Arc 5, as it's also known, if we just follow the Roman numbers. So, yeah. I watched Arc V, I fell in love with the Odd Eyes Dragon archetype, but then I remembered we weren't, aren't allowed to use any card that is a pendulum or mentions pendulums so i went instantly hmm wait a minute advanced dragon and then i got the advanced dragon uh, do -do -do warrior because that's an instant level six without uh, tributing and essentially with with this going on like a lot of different shit I essentially uh, adopted a type of style. My characters, my character had a style of. If any of you guys have seen Blue Exorcist, uh, essentially Mephisto. 
Ein, zwei, drei. Or one, two, three. Is that clear the whole magic stick? Go, 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 giant and go, 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 dwarf, golem and synergy. Also, defense tower. Literally, just defense tower. Go, 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 gardener. Um, if it's a direct attack, yeah, I can use special summon him and then discard a card. I don't understand why I didn't run this in the later versions due to. Because I had a Dodo -do Dwarf. No. Yeah, Dodo -do Dwarf. And Dodo -do Go 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 Gloves. Because this Gaga -ga Gardener would have good synergy with that because you could get them into your graveyard and if you had a Gaga -ga monster on the field you could just get out Gaga -ga Bouncer and uh, uh, no the Baba big Gaga -ga coat and just summon from the from your graveyard into the field a uh, Gaga -ga magician David Bowie yeah, essentially that shit always will exist within the Sora character. Just gonna say one thing. If I bring back Sora Igador for anything, you can expect free cards to always appear. I will contradict myself when I go over the attack of the Kaiju deck, at least the first duration, but that's due to what was happening in the big. What is planned for the first part of Attack of the Kaiju, so if you maybe hadn't noticed, especially on the other people's part, is their cards gone blank. They have been munched. They have been nom 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 nom. So yeah. Goblinburg always run Goblinburg in Xyz or essentially Xyz and uh, what's it called? Uh, Xyz and Synchro based decks is at least uh, yeah because it's always good to have another uh, card. Goblinburg has synergy with both uh, Synchro and. Xyz. Also, Kagetta uh, Kage. Essentially, I'm running a deck full of uh, level 4s. Why wouldn't I run Kagetta Kage? Gambara Knight. Uh, just one of the other. One of the cards. As I said. Recently watched Arc V and uh, Zeal, aka Zexal. Uh, after that, we have Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial, I got Bacon Saver into it, where we will get to him later. Gaga -ga Girl, because Gaga -ga Magician, yeah. Perform Fall Hip Hippo. I still wanted to get off that small Yum. Uh, Yuya vibe, so I yes, I run the hippo. Also, super hippo carnival. It's just instant summon. Plus, it was one of my ways to get out my rank freeze. As you can see, I'm only running free level freeze. And kinda five because Gaga -Ga Magician is every level bit between one to eight. Then we have Gaga -Ga Child. If you're playing a Gaga -Ga deck, run Gaga -Ga Child. Seriously, but never run a pure Gaga -Ga deck. Play an Onomato deck. Essentially, the overall. Archetype. That is something I learned in the later iterations. 
Then we have, as I said, bacon saver, but if that literally saves your bacon, I did that joke way too many fucking times. Why didn't he do a reprisal in the later ver in my attack in the final attack to the kaiju version? Ah, it's a zombie, it would have survived. Eh. Then we have on Karibo and Karibo who gives me my essentially an instant uh, monster born or a yes <clears throat> often just play him in defense mode get him attack get him sent to the graveyard because it's still destroyed by battle or card effect As long as it hits the graveyard at that point. So, if you know who um, Chaosos is, yeah, not a good card against them. You're saying that instantly. That was a pure banish deck. <laughs> but yeah, essentially, if you have played your monster, your only copy of Monster Born once. Essentially, this card allows you to bring it back, and if you have multiple time ways to get Uncaribo back, infinite monster reborns, or well, as many uh, times as you can get back Uncaribo. Double or nothing. We all know what double or nothing does. Draw of fate. I think this was a later card. I got it with. Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords, uh, Polymerization, and uh, Starving Dead Fusion. So you should actually be there. Then we have Onomato Para. Oh, yeah, I also think I got this one later. Yeah, this looks more like the version of the deck I had before. But yeah. Uh, G -G -G Academy Emergency Network, essentially you can call out a Gaga monster instantly, blustering winds, boost, level up, actually no, I think I had draw fate, but it was, no, I didn't have draw fate. But yeah, as I said, I got uh, Draw Fate a little bit later. Then I am not a para. These are just random cards that I found interesting. Um, yes, I did have Horus in the first episode. But that was because I, my character literally stole them from the character that... The, the episode before my character's introduction, I appeared slightly in the end of uh, Void Sabers episode back then, and um, the level deck dude, yeah that was me, but my character also stole his some of his cards. Uh, hot. Do I really have to explain why I was running these decks? I was young and naive and I didn't know better. Literally. Storm of Venom Fusion Dragon, just a good card in general, especially if you're running dark monsters. Which I only run a few of. And I find it later on. But yeah. I've. I've always found my decks, like the decks I've made, kind of meh and lackluster. But yeah, I've essentially explained why I ran them. Return of the Dragon Lord, why do you think? I have two great level 8 dragons here. They are good. Horus the Black Flame Dragon can instantly say no to an, act an activation of a spell card. 
So your opponent, for example, let's just take Chaos Host again. He's activating the seal of our Calcos. Um, are you sure, mate? Negate. Literally, you can just say no you with this card. If you're playing a deck that has like, literally is anti anything, this deck is close to be anti because I have no two effects, no two spells. The only thing I had to have was a no two traps, which I actually have in my later in the version two. But yeah, Xyz unit, this is an Xyz deck, so Xyz heavy deck, so why not? Gagaga Revenge, bringing back Gagaga Monsters. Why the fuck not? Because you will always need them. Level up, because yeah, I can get out Horse the Black Flame Dragon level 6 easily by tributing. And then instantly going to level 8 if I haven't gotten the light out. Pot of Greed, pot, because Pot of Greed. Reinforcement of the army. Look at my deck. Warrior. Do I have to really explain this? My question is, do I have to explain why I'm running Reinforcement of the army with a deck that has a few warriors. That's level 4. <laughs> Ignoring that. Gagaga -ga -ga Wind essentially is special summon a Gagaga -ga -ga monster from my hand. And it is a instantly a level 4, so instantly. Yo, let's succeed! Reload, reload was a card if I had it in my hand and the rest of the cards were shit. Literally, it does what it says. Reload. Ego boost, just boost the target with a thousand attack, it's a boost. Why wouldn't you want to boost your monster's attack points? Uh, half on break. Uh, yeah, why wouldn't I take half the damage? And yes, it can be used on your opponent's card, so it cannot be destroyed by battle, but you still take half the fucking damage. So why wouldn't I? <laughs> Exes reburn. Once again, Xyz day. Xyz Revenge Shuffle. When a face up Xyz monster you control is targeted by an attack, target an Xyz monster in your graveyard, return that face up attack target to the extra deck. Then special summon this card's target from the graveyard. If you do, Essentially. Oh no, he's attacking my monster. Oh wait. Revenge shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I choose this card from my graveyard, summon it, and uh, no. Shove this card on my field back into the deck. Shove this out, and possibly, hopefully, it is stronger than my opponent's card. That's just hope. Okay. Uh, pinpoint guard. Pinpoint guard is a, essentially a monster born for level 4 or lower. Plus, it's stuck in defense mode. Plus, it cannot be destroyed. So, why not? Knit with out of, Outwit is a somewhat a good card if you're running like high attack monsters. Um, run this card. If you like have a deck that 
has graveyard activations and that shit. Yeah, discarding that and then targeting an opponent's monster. Yeah, that isn't as much as a bad deal as some people would think. Because it's less damage and hopefully if you have a, have a somewhat stronger monster after the reducement, your opponent's monster has been destroyed. Magical Cylinder, we all know what it does. For those who are dumbasses and don't, look at the picture. Right? Fuck. Damage go in, and it gets out back at your opponent. Yes. Also, here we have one of my favorite cards, and I have no idea why I'm not run. Didn't why I would stop running this, but the decks stopped having it. But Ghost of a Grudge is reliable, especially in, against meta deck versions of decks, because or at least decks that are. Oh, let me just say. House deck kinda has nothing on this card. Due to one reason. <laughs> he wants card in his graveyard. Most often than not, it is more than eight cards. So having all of your opponent's card on the board at that point becoming zero is the sh uh, the best move ever mirror mail hmm. yeah this is a, this is a good card although not that good against avatar avatar is a bullshit card wait wait I do wonder which is stronger, or Boros, which is supposed to have like over infinite attack, or yes, listen to me, or Avatar, because of its ability of having one point higher than the attack of. Uh, of the strong current strongest card on the field. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Think about that. Mirror mail. Just a good card. Just a goodish card. That was just the one we went over. What the fuck is wrong with my brain? Jar of greed. Uh, it's a draw card. Always draw cards. Deck fitting is deck winning. Most of the time. Impenetrable attack. Um, essentially protection. Yes. Again. Um, impenetrable attack. Same card. Same shit. Exceeds Reflection, or Exceeds Reflect, when a spell card, draft card, or monster effect is activated, targeting a base up Exceeds monster on the field, negate that activation. If you do destroy it, then inflict 800 damage on your bomb. Do I have to explain? <laughs> I hope not. Well, that was my kind of rant ish. Uh, review of this deck. Next week hopefully will be the next step. 